I've been editing for almost 3 years now, and yeah, there are tons of editing programs out there, but CapCut, it's the best one. Well, kinda. If you compare CapCut to Premiere Pro or DaVinci, it's like comparing a bike to a Formula 1 car. They both get you from A to B, just not at the same speed. And sure, Formula 1 cars are faster, but not everyone knows how to drive one, right? So, let's learn how to ride the bike first before we start racing around. Today, I'm gonna show you a few of the most viral and easiest CapCut tricks out there. Okay, let's go! I bet you've seen this before. It's called the floating effect. And we can create it in just two steps. Search for rebound swing in the effects section and apply it to your element. Then reduce the size to 21 and the speed to 24. So hear me out. 3D effects are so freaking cool, but you can't really create those in CapCut. Well, not as clean as in DaVinci or Premiere Pro, but because I took it personally, I found a way to do something similar. Search for player free. Drag the effect above your video. Now, we want to get rid of the speed, glow and texture. You might ask yourself, where is the 3D action? To make it move like that, use the rotation. I also talked about keyframes in my last video, so if you combine these two skills, you'll get the job done. An important skill is this one. Creating elements not only boosts your storytelling, but also makes your videos look way better. So for now, let's make a circle. Step 1. Add a text box and type a dot. Step 2. Make it bigger and add some glow. And step 3. Well, wait, wait a second. Ah, okay. Okay, yes. Okay, got it. Unfortunately, there is no step 3. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I also want to show you how to make another version of the circle. And this one is even easier. Press Alt plus G to make a compound clip and choose the circle mask. Then hit Invert Mask and that's it. <laughs> now imagine if I also showed you how to make a line you will be unstoppable. But that's something for another video. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Okay, I'm just kidding. Let's make the damn line. Type a few minuses, then scroll down and turn the uniform scale off. Now you can play with the length and the thickness of your line. Well done. You can animate them and build all kinds of shapes. And speaking about animation, let me show you a skill that will bring your videos to life. After you've crafted the line, change its color and add some glow. Then create a compound clip and head over to mask. Choose split and rearrange the mask. Now keyframe the position and every 5 to 7 frames move the mask until you reveal the line again. In some cases I would go frame by frame to make the animation smoother. Sometimes it's just that easy. And you know what's also easy? The text behind effect. So you basically import an image or a video, duplicate it and then remove the background of the first one. This is where I use the pro function auto removal from CapCut. But you can also use some free websites to get a background free element. The only step left is to import a text layer between those two timelines and you're done. To make it even cooler, make a keyframe at the beginning of the text and drag the text down. Then go 10 frames forward and drag the text up. Now press a keyframe on the opacity and move 10 frames back. Turn the opacity to 0 and voila, we've got the cinematic effect. I'm counting this effect as top 3 best improvements in your video of all time. And speaking of counting, how many times have you seen a video with a countdown and thought, how do they do that? Well, I'll show you how. You'll need 3 text layers, each with numbers from 0 to 9. Place them just a bit below the center of your video. Now, make a keyframe on position and move 10 to 20 frames forward. Actually 20 frames. And drag them up until they line up with the center of the screen. Make a compound clip, go to mask and pick rectangle. Position it like I'm doing and add a little feather for a smooth edge. And that's it, you've got the clean countdown in like under a minute. The technique you are seeing right now, it's called match cut. But 
That's not really what I want to show you today. See the point where the cut happens? Well, that's where the magic starts. I'm gonna show you how to change the color of any object in CapCut. And here is how. Go to your second clip and click on adjust. Then go to HSL and tap the color picker. Now choose the color you want to change and play around with the sliders until you get the look you want. One thing you can also do really easily in CapCut is text tracking. Some of you might need it, others maybe not, but here is how to do it. You've got your text and you've got your moving object. Click on your text and then go to tracking. You can leave the settings as they are, just press start. And that's it, you're done. Super quick and simple. But I can't really say the same thing about this one. Just look how smooth the animation goes. You need these assets. First your background, then your last clip and finally your first clip on top. Now watch this to get that smooth rounded corner effect. Go to mask, rectangle and then to round corners. See, it's not that hard. Next, reduce the size of your last clip and move it to the left so it's out of view. Then click on your first clip in the timeline, add a keyframe on size, move 20 frames forward and scale it down as much as you want your effect to be. We are almost there. Now add a keyframe on position, move 35 frames forward and drag the clip to the right until it disappears. And for the real ones who are still watching, here's a pro tip. Press Alt plus K, pick the keyframe you want to smooth, right click and choose Ease. But wait, we are not done yet. Find the first position keyframe of your last clip, move 10 frames forward and add another position keyframe there. Then go 25 frames forward, set the position value to 0 and add a scaled keyframe. Now move another 25 frames forward and increase the scale until the background is completely gone. Light work for you, keep going. If you paid attention when we created elements earlier, this one is gonna be easy for you. First, type in a few minuses, then adjust the character spacing to minus 4. Change the color to red. Now scroll down, turn uniform scale off and adjust the mask size the way you like it. Scroll a bit more down, choose stroke, pick your color, adjust the thickness and make a compound clip. Go to the rectangle mask. Make sure all the red area disappears by pressing reverse. Then turn your top video back on. Make a compound clip again. Go back to mask but this time choose split. Rotate the mask to 90 degrees. Add a keyframe on position, move 40 frames forward and drag the mask all the way to the end. And there you go, that's some serious improvement right there. And this might just be the last trick your videos need. Highlighting text in CapCut is easier than you think. Just copy the image you want to highlight and drag it up. Use the rectangle mask to pick the area you want to highlight. Now click on the video below and add a keyframe or opacity. Move 20 frames forward and lower the value to 40. Remember how you made the line for the progress bar? Do the same thing again. But this time, match it to the size of the area you want to highlight. Then lower the opacity so you can see the text underneath again. And now just repeat the same animation using the split mask like you did a few minutes ago. After that, don't forget to use your keyframes and you're done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. And yeah, I'm sorry if the sound quality wasn't the best today, but don't worry, I'll get better. And don't forget to check the description for some useful links. Stay healthy, stay consistent and I'll see you next time.